You haven't been on the air, I think, in two seasons or three. Is it two or three? I think it's two. All right, but yeah. and, and the last time you were on the air, you were in eighth grade. Yeah. And so now, like, you're all tall and stuff. Tall and stuff. <laughs> and uh, so what grade are you in now? So I'm in ninth grade now. All right. Fresh in the house. <laughs> a boss. A, a fresh. Yeah, I, I love that in eighth grade, you know, there was a speech. It said, you're not a fresh meat, you're not a fresh man, you're a fresh boss. Okay, so anyway, the Fresh Boss over here is yep. doing a lot of stuff. So, uh, so what you been up to? Tell your um, viewers. Um, I've been doing marching band. Um, I've been doing like Nesby in my school. Well, um, well, wait, 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 pause. Marching band. Marching band. What do you play in marching band? So I play second base. Um, this year I played second base, and it's been really cool so far. Next year um, I'm gonna be either one of bases or going to a different instrument. Who knows? But I will be. Um, Base sexual year next year if I still do play base. Um, which is cool. It is so cool. And what are you now? You're the co-captain. Yeah, I'm the co-captain of the um, of the drum line. You know, wow. as a freshman, well, fresh boss. As a sophomore, technically, because it's next season. But as a sophomore, it'd be really cool to have the opportunity to be the co co-captain. All right, cool, cool. All right. So now, got that marching band. Check. Check. All right. Now, what is Nesby? Nesby is the National Society of Black Engineers. National Society of Black Engineers. Oh snap! Oh snap! So, why do you want to be a Nesby? I don't think they know that you have another career path you want to explore. Yeah. So, um, I either want to go into um, engineering or architectural design. So. I like to bring it that. I can yeah. see you being an architect or an engineer. Mm, yeah. She's good at Legos. I am very good at Legos. <laughs> um, but yeah, Nesby has been really cool. Um, I, have the, I had the opportunity to like do some, um, like build some robots and stuff. And um, I built this one mousetrap car, which was really cool. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so it's been fun so far. Okay. So that's okay. Nesby. All right. So Nesby, check. All right. So what else you been doing? Let's see. Well, let's talk about your grades. Yes. She's a straight A student. I'm a straight A student. <laughs> straight A. I, I was going to say F, but that would be a good look. That would be very terrible. Yeah. Okay. Bad yeah, mom. I'm a straight A student. You know? <laughs> so she's doing a bang, y'all. She's yeah. going down. All right. So what else you got going on? Right, so we got drama. We've got Nesby. We've got good grades. Is that it? You're about to, you're about to try for a softball. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. I want the softball workout. As of now, you know, practicing for softball, hopefully I make it, you know. Everyone cross your fingers. fingers. Eyes and nose and everyone just cross some double cross your fingers. I don't know if you can do this. I really hope you can. <laughs> double cross your fingers. Oh wait, and you're doing jazz band. Oh yeah, jazz band too. Um I have a lot of trips to jazz band. We're going to Chicago, yep. we're going to UNCC, we're going everywhere. So just think of a place. We're probably not going there, but we're going there. I'm accepting donations. If, if you want to donate to the Mom Society, feel free. Yeah, there's a new page of all funding. Victoria's <laughs> uh, Kitchen Mom Fundraiser. Please donate. <laughs> we're 
just sense. joking, guys. One sip would help so much. So let's talk about this season. Yeah. So today's show, what are you making today? So today I'm making peach harvest biscuits. Okay, all right. Tell us a little bit about peach harvest biscuits. So peach harvest biscuits, it's like a uh, spit on peach cobbler. Yeah. But instead of the crust, you have the biscuits. Right? All right, and it's kind of like a brunch. Yeah. Like a cool brunch thing. It's so good. Yeah, I loved it when you made it uh, for us for brunch. Uh, we had that with... Some bacon, yeah, and um, and it was just that was it, right? Yeah, it was fresh fruit. Yeah. yeah, it was it was really good. It was full of that. Yeah, it was it was great. But anyway, so um, and then today's show, we're also gonna be talking about our relationship, mother daughter bond that we have going. Sometimes it's hard to uh, work together, and we're, we're gonna talk about that. But we have games too. We have new games. We do. We do. We've been doing all kinds of things to get to know each other better because she's growing up. She's growing up. I'm not growing up. I'm she's getting younger. Growing. I'm a spring chicken, older. guys. I've been explaining Hi, to she and everyone just, else that I'm a spring chicken. Let me just explain to everyone. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah. back to the show. So let's talk about the season. So this season we're doing some cool stuff. Yeah. So uh, I, I really love one of my favorite things. And then I'll tell my favorite and you tell your favorite. Okay, cool. One of my favorite episodes is when we take the trip to Raleigh. Yeah. And it was funny, guys. We just take this trip. We, we pick a place. And we pack a book bag. Yeah. And we just and we go. All right. So today we are taking the Amtrak. Woo! <laughs> We're headed to a Raleigh. Yes, we are. And we, we got a book bag. We got a book, book bag check. Book bag check. All right. We're just going to go explore. We have no plans. No. Nope. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We don't even have plans to stay yet. We're just gonna find it when we get there. We're just gonna. <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, I thought she already had a place to stay and everything. No, no. But I, I, I figured out which hotels had pools. We wanted to go swimming because we didn't go swimming all summer. Wow, she did like. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So. So that was really funny, though. I mean, you gotta give it up. No. It was funny. It was funny. But no, that wasn't funny. Because here's the thing. Say all the. Okay. So okay. anyway, anyway. Guys, just think about it. If you're going on a trip, make sure you have a hotel planned out. Because here's the thing. You never know when a hotel can be booked. Or the hotel can just be So anyway, somewhere. guys, that was one of my favorite moments. And we tried some really good food. And then yeah. Chef Cup, we, when we came back, Chef was so inspired. She remade the dish. Mm -hmm. And I think you did it a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, so that was cool. So that was one of my favorite moments. What about you? Um, I think mine was just uh, meeting Michelle. That was really cool. Yeah. Introduction. Take one. Hey, how you doing? I'm Shauna Price, and I am Chef Victoria Elizabeth's PR representative. So I want to tell you about the first time I had the opportunity to meet her. Having her added to the team was a great addition. It kind of helped us a little bit. and it I'm was sorry, a lot of it. A lot, yes, a lot of it. <laughs> and it made me go to like new opportunities, like the news. Yeah, yeah, she was on the news. Yeah, so that's another one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, so, so there's one episode where we're going to really get into, um, you know, Chef seems all confident and, and she's a fresh boss, but sometimes, you know, everybody has a little area of like a little shyness yeah. and hers is, believe it or not, speaking, put doing public speaking. So take a look. So I somehow got my way on this TV show called A Better You and I was, I was really nervous at this point. Like I'm kind of nervous today, but I'm nervous, right? And I don't really, I'm, I'm excited, nervous at the, at the same time, so I try my best. It was actually fun. Like, I was terrified and I was kind of just freaking out inside, but I'm really fun doing. Yeah, you're, you're a really good speaker. How is? Uh. Okay, guys, so here's the game I was talking about. The game has no name. It's just called the word game. I'm going to call it that. It's called the word game. The word game. The word game. Okay, <laughs> so you have two people, two people here. You have two people. And y'all both say a random word at the same exact time. And y'all have three tries to try to say the same to try to say the same word at the end. Okay. Does that make sense? No. Okay, let me explain a little bit more. Okay. So when you say that random word, okay. it has to the next word has to be associated to the first word. So y'all can find a common category to figure out one word. Okay. Alright. And so and this is to see how close we think. Yeah. And how connected oh we are. All right. So, so play along. You know. So let's show them how it goes. Let's show them how it goes. All right. You ready? Yeah. One, ready. two, three. Book. Let's try again. We're gonna try again. Let's start over. Okay. One, two, three. The music. car. Oh my goodness. So we were in the same category <laughs> already. All right. The car and music. All right. So now we have to do it get again and try to get closer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Uh huh. One, two, three. Drums. Okay. 
Okay, okay. We went our we went the opposite with the of opposite. each other. All right, one more okay. time. Say that no. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. Because of that man. Okay, you have one more. One more. Time. One more time. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I don't even know. Oh. Oh. Okay, got it. You got yours. Mm -mm. This is hard. Like. What could she be thinking? Okay. One, two, three. My yeah. own. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah. I was going to say Victoria. <laughs> well, that was okay. a lot of fun. The thing is, is, like, if you try it, if you don't get it, just keep trying because it's actually fun, as you can see. Yeah, but I made up a game. Let me just ask, instead of playing 20 questions, we played a game called Five Questions. Yeah. Or was it three? It was, uh, I think we just kept going with that. All right. So it was three. Right. We'll play three questions. Yeah. And it was... We had to ask each other questions to get to know each other better and ask us questions, ask each other questions about our relationship. So let's play. Okay. All right. So, so Chef, what is your favorite part about our relationship? Our friendship. Oh, we're friends. Yeah, we're friends. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's really sweet. Second question. Second question. If you could change anything about me, as a mom, what would it be? Um, I gotta think about that. I think I'm perfect. She just forgot. Um, okay, okay. You're very overprotective. She is very overprotective. Yes, I am overprotective. And she doesn't trust people. I do trust people. I just, Some well, people, you don't trust society. Let me say that. Yeah, I mean, because you're my well, angel. I don't, I don't trust society either. Not so what I tell y'all, she wants to walk to the bus stop in the dark. No, because she goes to the bus stop like five something out well, and it's dark outside. Here's the I, you know, it was just a suggestion, but I really think she wasn't gonna let me do it. But at least I walk home. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with the light, but you're not walking in the dark looking like a victim. A victim. A victim. Okay, next question. Um, let's see, what is, what's the best moment recently that you can, that, you know, you can recollect that we spent together? Mm. Best moment. So many. I know, they're all great. So does it only have to be me and you? No, it's just that we were involved in together. A hard one. I went there's so stuff. There's so many. Okay, I think New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is cool. That all was right. fun. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I had a good time too. New we we had fun. fun. All right, cool. All right, your turn, Jeff. Wow, I wasn't even thinking of questions. All um, right, let's go. Ready? What? What's your favorite thing about me? Oh, there are so many favorites. She's lying. I'm not lying, but my absolute favorite is um, your care. You're such a caring girl. She's so sweet and caring. So that's my favorite thing. I get it from her. Um, let's see. This is gonna really test if she knows me. Okay, what's my favorite color? Shades of blue. Yes. <laughs> If you are associated with me at all, and we have talked about colors or anything, it's shades. Of you blue. know that any shade of blue is my color. Like, do you you can see me wearing blue? So, she gave me a little hint, you know. And she got in her room for Christmas. And check check out this yeah. check out this picture. Isn't it really nice? Yeah. Her future sister in law um, made that for her to go yeah. with the decor of her new room. That's pretty cool. And also the logo too is kind of blue. Everything's I, blue. Um, All right. Let's see. Okay. What is your favorite thing about our relationship? I'm gonna ask you the same question. Um, our favorite thing. My favorite thing about our relationship. Hmm. Let's see. Favorite thing. Favorite thing. Is that we support each other. I support your cooking and all of those other things that you do, mm -hmm. and you support my music, and you support me being able to work a lot and. Produce the show. Yeah. All right. You got to tag team once sometimes. That's right. Pound it. That's our thing. <laughs> so, guys, we didn't mention that we have a new set. I know you can see it. We're so proud of it. All right. Miss Mr. Kendrick. Kendrick, this is the last break. Oh, hallelujah. I feel 
like right now I feel like uh, what's that dude my favorite movie National Lampoon's when he went to plug up after he put 10,000 eyes on his house and they just work <laughs> this work ain't gonna stick is it's gone baby it's ah! Ooh, there it is Ooh, there it is watch that break fall off wait a minute <laughs> you see that gap yeah, that's what I was talking about. We need another little brick. So, I mean, guys, I had a mess. It was like, how many days was it? Like four days? Yeah, four days. Yeah. And guys, when I tell you she did it all by herself, she did it all by herself. I looked at the wall and I saw her do it and I, I was confused how <laughs> she did it. It's like, just look at it. It looks like someone professionally did this wall. It does. And, and I've watched videos for like two years and I kept watching the YouTube videos yeah. trying to be able to do this on my own. And I finally said, I'm just going to do it. And yeah. uh, she talked about it for such a long time. I was waiting for it. That's right. So we just kind of reconfigured. So the chairs used to be on the other side of the room. Um, but now they're in front of our brick wall. And this is where we will be narrating the show for yeah. the season and forever. Forever. <laughs> so we also are able to do really good pictures of Chef in here. Yeah. So we can just move the chairs. And she can pose up real quick. Take the pictures she down. Put the pictures up. Yeah. Spin the pictures around. <laughs> This is our multi-purpose room. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, so we have So guys, let's go ahead and make these peach harvest biscuits. All right, we're going to get Chef in the kitchen. Yeah. Finally, she's back in the kitchen. Finally. So guys, let's go to the chef. Let's go. Welcome back to Victoria's Kitchen, guys. Today we are making peach harvest biscuits. Let's get cooking. So I have my oven already preheating on 350, over there getting nice and warm. So let's start on our peaches. So you have three can of three cans of peaches, and you want to make sure you use the peaches that are in fruit juice only, not the syrup. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in our pot here. Put all those peaches, and now we're gonna start on our seasoning. So we have three tablespoons of brown sugar, and we want to make sure you pack that in because brown sugar has moisture in it. Want to make sure it gets nice and packed. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar, just regular white sugar. We're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. And guys, I just love cinnamon. I use it in mostly all of my dishes. Cinnamon is just a really good smell and it's really good flavor. <laughs> so, Chef, really? You put cinnamon in, in all your dishes? I did not mean to say that. I meant, like, you know, not in all my dishes, but in majority of my dishes that are desserts. Let me say this. Desserts? You that don't, I made, but you don't put cinnamon in cheesecake. I said a you majority. Put, a majority. No, but you said all. I didn't mean to, you know... Do we need to rewind it? You need to hear it again? No. But let's no. hear it again. All of my dishes. Yeah, you said it. You said it. Didn't mean to. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So if you don't have a fourth of a teaspoon, just use two eighths. Okay. And then I'm going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. Go, just a little bit. Oh. Now we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and take that to our stove. So let's go ahead and get those peaches on high heat. Want to make sure it's nice and warm. Give that a good stir. And with this dish, you can have it for breakfast or for brunch. Have it with some turkey bacon, regular bacon, or some scrambled eggs, or just have it for dessert after your dinner. So a very essential part is our butter. It, can, it makes it nice and creamy. And we're gonna add about one tablespoon of butter. Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt the show, but I have to tell you about this inside joke and it has to deal with the butter. What? what? Are you gonna really tell her, ma'am? Yes. So, you know, when I go on trips and my mom doesn't go with me, or even if she does, you know, and we're usually not on the same bus sometimes, or she's in the front, 
And, you know, she'll be like, hey, do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have your snacks? Do you have your phone? Do you have your sleep? Do you, like, do you have a pillow? Do you have your scarf? She asks I'm just me being a, a lot of things. And she'll ask me, do I have a jacket when I have the jacket on, you know? And so one time I was just making fun of her and I was gonna, I was like, one day you're gonna be like, do you have your butter? And, you know, it was because we were, I was saying something about her just always reminding me of, I, I keep this over manager me. thing going on past the show. So yeah. she forgets everything. No, not everything. This really she important She doesn't things. forget the word everything, but she forgets. Just the really important things. So that's why I have a checklist. Yeah. Back to the show. <laughs> Just go back to the show. Okay. Put that in. Let's go ahead and put this butter down real quick. I'm going to give that a nice good stir. Just want that butter nice and melted. So let's get started on our biscuits. So with the biscuits, we just have some buttermilk biscuits, some frozen buttermilk biscuits. You don't need the flaky biscuits, just regular buttermilk biscuits. And here we have a 8x8 eight eight glass pan. Um, you can try the metal pan, but I haven't tried it yet. But I suggest you use the glass pan. We're going to put 8 biscuits in there. Go. And then we're going to fit a little snug. That's what we do want. So I think the peaches are boiling over there. Let's go see. Peaches are nice and boiled. You can zoom into that. So we're going to turn it down to medium heat real quick. Give it a little stir. And now we're going to take some, just a little bit of the juice from the peaches. Just a couple scoops. If I can do that at least. And with here, we're going to add this with some cornstarch. Okay. Let's go back to our seasoning. Let's go ahead and mix one tablespoon of cornstarch with our juice that we have here. And some people like to go ahead and put water in it, but we're, at, we're not adding any water to this dish. I'm going to go back and get my spoon. Give that a good stir. So we're going to add our cornstarch and juice mixture back in. Give that a little stir. So now we're going to go ahead and cover this up for about 15 more minutes. And be sure you stir occasionally. So let's go ahead and get the peaches on top of the biscuits. Now let's go ahead and get those in the oven. So now it's time to get out the oven. Oh man, it looks so good. Out. Just look at this. And this was in the oven for 40 minutes. Oh, it just smells amazing, looks amazing. And as you can see over here, we still have a little bit of our peaches left, our peaches and our juice. So you can put it in the refrigerator and moisten the your biscuits. If you need to, or you can just put the drizzle on as you need it. I can't wait to give it a try. Okay. Oh. Just look at that. And you can see all the juice too as well. And I'm gonna take some of our juice here I'm just gonna take it and do a little drizzle and you can also warm this up as well because this is your leftovers okay let's give it a try 
Oh, this is so, so moist. It's like moist and crispy at the same time. Like, how can that even happen? Okay, here we go. Mm. This is so good. I can literally just eat this for days, but I'm not going to. So guys, I'm gonna finish this later, and I will see you next time. Bye. Today was a great show, Chef. Yeah, it was a really great show. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I had a great time being in the kitchen again and shooting the first episode of the fourth season. Uh, if you want to stay connected with me, um, it's Chef Victoria Elizabeth on Instagram and Facebook. Yep. And also, if you go to my website, VictoriaCasaha, it will keep you um, updated with the show. Yep. So, you ready? Oh yeah, and what about YouTube? And she's also Oh yeah, I'm also on YouTube at the Taurus Kitchen. Yeah. Um videos be going on there. Yep, yep. So we ready to end this thing? Yeah, I think we are. So guys, see you next time. Bye! Bye guys! <laughs>